Did you know that they've been making video games since the 1970s? The 70s, you say? The 70s! Jason A. Stryker. Hi. How are you? Good. 70s. I was born in that decade. So was Me I. too. Really? Yeah, I made it. Damn. Yep. I squeaked in. Yeah. It's a pretty good decade. Yeah. I don't necessarily remember the 70s being popular for video games, mm. but tell me about it's more, video more games like that happened in the 70s. More like vodka and cocaine. Were That's, the, were which the is big, the game in and of itself. Those were the big things. Those are pretty timeless. That's a fine I mean, recreation. They kind of never go out of style. Disco? Sure. Disco. Duck. Heshers. Yeah. You know, I did, in a sense. Okay. I did yeah. a Disco Duck album. Mm. We used it as a cover to our uh, bucket because we didn't have plumbing out on the farm. Wow. So my Disco Duck album Wait. covered up the poop bucket. Man. That's an that's, appropriate use of Disco Duck. I wow. thought so too. Yeah, that's absolutely appropriate. A lot of games have been made since the 1970s, including mm. the one we're going to play today on the old game show. <laughs> okay, I was wondering where you're going with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's uh, we were originally going to play some Super Mario Maker. Yeah, so what uh, happened exactly? Their servers are down for the week. Is it is it just uh, the Mario Maker servers? Yes, or? yeah. Uh, they're down Jeez. for something, maintenance, I don't know, wow, something freaky going on, huh. who knows. Um yeah, so I had been thinking about playing this game for a little while now. We had talked about it. We'd flirted with the idea for a while. And depending on how it grabs us, we I've got a few games here pulled, but we might just play this first one for the entire show. Okay. I, I would be down for that. Um, have you guys have you, I'm guessing both of you guys have played this game so I have, oh boy. before? Yeah, this is this is actually one of my favorite games. It's a little tough to go back to. Um, but it was very influential to me. Yeah, I this feels a little bit like a special occasion to me because I have been thinking about checking this game out since the mid '90s when it came out. And yeah, I've never sat down and looked at it. Yeah, I, I played a little bit of it uh, at some point last year uh, just to get a feel for it, um, and decided like, okay, we I need to stop playing this so that we can play it. Good here. Good. Um, and so I have it here. Uh, are you ready for this? Yes, I'm All excited. Right. Fantasy Star Online. I'm, I'm like, Here we go. It's Fantasy Star Online <laughs> of the 90s. No, I'm, it's... I'm a little bit nervous. See All right. This. It's uh, from the next generation platform known as the Sega CD. Mm. This is not look, the startup music that I'm familiar with. Look at the scaling and rotation mm. on the sprites. Yeah. It's really. That is, uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, they changed the music in a couple of different areas uh, over time. And uh, This game is called Snatcher. Oh, it's got this? Yeah, this is from that era when this was the logo. Yeah, it and is. That, a, that was the, that's the it's Castlevania 4. It's a Konami game. A 16-bit Konami intro. Um, yeah, so I'm going to need money from all you guys to put into the slots mm. so that we can play this. Okay. I never change this. I always just choose whatever it defaults to. Hold, hold the phone. Hang on. We're not yeah, I don't, I don't know which one's highlighted. Is the, I want to know what's going on here. So the top one is the second Sega CD. Yeah, it is. Yep. What the hell? Did that thing have more RAM than the first version? What's going on here? No, you, this is just where do you want your save to go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. You know, okay, this is, this is know just this like, where, where do you want to store your saves? Okay, I thought this was some kind of RAM expansion, like N64 style yeah, or something. No, no. Uh, this is a cyberpunk adventure. For cyberpunks? For cyberpunks, mm. uh, like ourselves here. Uh, this game had support for the Menacer, which was, or maybe the Justifier. Was Justifier? It, yeah, the Konami had their own gun, but maybe mm. it also worked the Menacer, I don't actually know, uh, because there's shooting involved. You can draw a blaster, <laughs> you can cancel, you can select shoot. There is shooting involved. Yeah, uh, so we're going to stick with Joypad only, because I don't have a gun here. I forgot mine today. Yeah. I usually bring it. Okay. I don't know if I believe this. It's do, do, an entire coincidence. Do, do, do. If there's anything here that's similar to real people. I don't know if I believe this. Roland! Man! In some parts. Uh, so this is the English right. version uh, for the Sega CD. This game was released <clears throat> in a, a handful of different places. Oh, man. And it is dedicated to all the cyberpunks who fight against injustice and corruption every day. That's you. Of their lives. That's That's, that's you. you. Yeah, this dates back to 88 when it was first released. Yeah. 1988. Wait, really? There was a PC Engine version. There was, you know, the MSX version. There was the PC-88 version first. Under secret development there is released into the atmosphere. Created a deadly biohazard. A deadly biohazard. Carried by the trade winds, Lucifer Alpha spreads throughout Eastern Europe and Eurasia. Lucifer Alpha. Lucifer Alpha. 80% of the populace. 
A lot of people the did. world's people die. The greatest biohazard in history later becomes known simply as the catastrophe. But at this time, who could have possibly imagined that the ultimate biohazard wouldn't occur for another half century? It got worse. Fifty years later. Biohazard 2. <laughs> the, crisis, the appearance of a mysterious android life form. Its purpose and origin are unknown. Metal skeletons. Oh, the music is good. Oh, yeah, well, it was a or perhaps an invasion from Oh, I've seen that. That, that. I've seen that the cybernetic skull looks, looks like a real idiot. I've seen this screenshot so many times. The place of their victims. Employing an artificial skin, they can sweat and even bleed. Part or skin job. The machine. Mm -hmm. They're almost impossible to distinguish from So this is just kill. bubblegum crisis. Is, is, is this just Blade Runner? This is Kojima, yes, uh, Blade Runner, okay. watched some Bubblegum Crisis, okay. and made this These mysterious okay. invaders become known as... Snatchers. Oh! Hey, guys! He, he shoots like Space Harrier. Yeah, he shot Space Harrier out of his mouth. He threw up Space Harrier at us. So, in, like, the original Japanese versions, the eye was all red, it had, like, red trim, it looked... Even more like a Terminator. They changed it. Oh, the art changed? Yeah. Which one did you play first? Uh, the Sega CD version, which is okay. near and dear uh, to my heart. It's one of the better ones. It's a little censored from the original Japanese mm. versions, but then they came out with like um, untranslated, uh, like a PlayStation and a Sega Saturn version. Okay. Um, and those like, like went black and white in some of the gorier sequences yeah, and like stuff. Like those were even one, more. <clears throat> it was weird. And they straight up like blurred one gory sequence in mm. it. Like that was supposed to be disturbing. There's some something. nudity too, right? Uh, briefly. I yeah. feel like I remember there being a shot floating around back in the 90s of like a boob. Yeah, there was. Yeah, with, one with of the, the snatchers. In, in the context of like, ah, like, ah, look how edgy games are in, in other territories. But look at what they're edgy, showing there you. Was a, there was a shower sequence with uh, one of the characters, like daughters, mm. and you like walk in on her and she's like, ah, I'm, I'm showering, I'm nude and stuff. So in the original game, she was 14. Okay. Urgh. Um, so they changed their age <laughs> good, good going, uh, and kind of cut those scenes a little bit. And uh, also there was a, I guess there was a sequence, I, I haven't played the original like MSX uh, version, but there was like a... Metal Gear, Lucy Childs. Oh, of course. You could uh, s uh, s sniff some panties as well. That, that, was, that was taken out of subsequent versions. Mm, yeah. Because smell vision had not been... Like the consoles were not someday, at the right, you know, uh, maybe the next PlayStation. Maybe that's what Kojima's working on now: is a yeah. panty sniffing simulator mm -hmm. to really <laughs> take advantage of where tech is at these days. That's why they had to go on that tour, him and Cerny. Right, they oh, yeah. go around and find Cerny's the latest kind of tech. At the forefront. Uh. <laughs> oh my God, this uh, this brings back some memories, man. It's been a while since I've tweeted this up. Fucking cyber knife fighting in the streets. <laughs> That guy just looks over and goes, fucking whatever. What year is this set, did they say? 2044? 2044? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. 50 years after. Yep. Goggles hover cars. Just style. Yep. Yeah. Just motherfucking style yeah. all over this game. This game, yeah, particularly resonated with me because I had seen Blade Runner for the first time hmm. a few years before this. Uh, so I'm like, damn, it's Blade Runner, that's awesome. Um, and it's also one of the first instances in which I had like voice acting in a game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it resonated with me particularly. The saxophone is what's resonating with me. So I'm curious, like, what would you consider this game to be a genre of? Well, I can't really say to concede more of it. Just, just based on what you I, I like coming into it, I assume it's like an adventure game. Sure. Basically. How was work? Uh, Everything okay? Hmm. Gillian, what is it? What's wrong? Jamie, I've become a junker. You're kind of <gasps> junker? No. Kind of, you're rocking the, the Gillian. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's, the only way it's got a little bit more going on on the sides, sure. Snatcher is the only word that keeps coming back every time we try to remember our past. I have to face them to find out why. Yes, but I can sense that there is something terrible hidden in our past. And if we remember it, it will destroy us. Huh? Are there subtitles are gonna turn on? No, probably not. But I'll check. What? I can't hear you. 
So is that his sister or wife? wife? Okay. But they don't remember each other? Right. So they're like, I guess we're married? Custody in the Siberian neutral zone by the 17th Siberian Investigative Force. Both Gillian and Jamie suffer from severe amnesia. Their memories of events prior to being picked up in Siberia lost in a mysterious mental fog. Two years ago, Dabs. they made an attempt to rebuild their marriage. Jamie and Gillian separate. Following extensive special military training, Gillian is ordered to report to Neo Kobe City as a Junker. Effective today. It's a Junker. You'll find out. Japanese underground neo kinetic. Okay. What you were gonna say? Underwear. El elimination ranger. Okay. All right. It's different in in Japan though. Maybe cooler. Wait, are you, you're actually serious? The Konami oh. Omni Building. I she just made that up. Nope. Right next to the Somi headquarters. Uh huh. <clears throat> and ASCII. <laughs> um. Someday they'll release Act Three for Snatcher. Just keep holding <laughs> out. It's, it's coming. They just hadn't had their budget slashed yeah. in the last year. Well, I guess on the um, you know PC88 and the MS, MSX version, they didn't have an Act Three. Oh really? Yeah. So they literally they oh. added stuff for oh. like the PC engine version. <laughs> All right, here we are at Junker headquarters. Yeah. Uh, oh wow. Yep. It's straight up here are some verbs. Yeah. Look, operator. She's a beautiful Oriental woman. Gillian. It's, Gillian's kind of a skis. It's not, it's not entirely appropriate. The Junker recruiting ad poster here. Let's look at this front pod. It's one of those pod type reception units. The operation is a you shielded know, capsule. We've got some out front. Yeah. Let's look at this camera. It yep. looks like a security That's camera. Security camera. What are you thinking, Brad? Mm, I think we should go inside. Mm -hmm. Let's investigate the operator. It's no use. I can't investigate her. Mm -hmm. A government ad. So it's sort of weird because, like, you know, look and investigate two seem things. they're yeah. two different things, but they seem like they could have been <laughs> combined. Like, like it seems like that stuff could have been combined into one thing. Well, invest. Wait, go back. What are the I investigated the poster, and now she's talking to me. So investigate kind of mm -hmm. has a more of a. It's more like walk up to. Sort of kind of. Kind of prime yourself to use. And sometimes you have to select like the same thing multiple oh, times. To get different. Yeah. To trigger stuff. Yeah, so that he said something different uh, this time. I was not expecting this to be menu driven, I'll say that. I believe the kids call these games visual novels today. Mm, okay. Actually, I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, I knew it wasn't going to be a point click game, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when I think of like an adventure, you know, style, like old computer adventure style game, it's kind of like a point click adventure. Right. Um, All right, so we tried to enter, and she's like, no, you can't do that. So now we have talk. <laughs> oh, well, we tried. I'm Gillian Seed. I've been assigned to Junker Headquarters Thank effective God. today. Oh, you're Mr. Seed. Please forgive me. My name is Mika Slayton. I'm the administrative assistant and operator here at Junker Headquarters. Very pleased to meet so. you. Look at her. <laughs> Talking to ask. Investigator. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, I see. Mm. Now I can't even talk anymore. It's like, look, just get on with it. All right, uh, ask about Junkers. Bioroid, Bioroid Snatcher Roid. Menace. Bioroids. So nobody knows where the Snatchers came from? Is that what I understood? They just emerged from a plane crash one day. Uh. I don't remember if that was spelled out. They do explain, kind of, sort of. It's Japan, but it's not Japan, if you, oh, know, what well, if you know, know what I mean. I know what you mean. What's up with you, though? I just want to know if you can open the goddamn door for me. Here we go. 
go. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, Japanese yeah. undercover Neurokinetic. Neurokinetic Elimination Ranger. Nice. Several times, Snatchers have attacked the anti-Snatcher base. Fucking synths everywhere. Mm-hmm. I would like to see that office. Let's go. All right. Mr. Seed? Gillian's fine, and you can call me Gillian Mika. If you're nasty. <laughs> okay, Gillian. Gillian Mika? I'll open the main door and show you around headquarters. There we go. It's like better voiceover quality than a lot of the shit that was getting shoveled onto CD-ROMs at that time. If you don't, uh, like it doesn't sound like, like it was recorded in a broom closet. Oh, either. sure, yeah. Yeah. All right. There's a so, bit of just like clippiness to. Yeah. I mean, it's not. It's not. Super. Like the yeah, the the sample rate is not CD quality. Yeah. Oh, that's right. The chief told me to bring you down as soon as you showed up. The chief. Yes, our big boss here at Junker headquarters. Big it's boss. Boss right here. Chief Cunningham, Gillian Seed is here. I've brought him in as you requested. Thanks for coming, Seed. I'm Benson Cunningham, the chief of Junker Operations. Look at my mustache! Gillian Seed, I've been transferred here from the 17th Special Forces Division. I've heard all about your special training in the military, Seed. I hope you'll put it to good use on your new assignment here. By the way, I understand you're suffering from amnesia. Any sign yet that your memory's coming back? I'm afraid not. I still can't remember a thing from before the army picked me up three years ago. You're married, aren't you? Yes, but we're separated now. She has amnesia as well, and without any memories between the two of us, I'm afraid <laughs> Thanks for a very shitty little to marriage. base a good relationship on. I can see your point there. Best to get rid of her, I guess. <laughs> Join the army or something. Look at this guy. Just as I imagined mm -hmm. him. I didn't say shit. I was looking and investigating. It's on his shit. monitor. All right. Check out his artwork. Look at this picture. It's a picture of a vase. What if I look at it again? Investigate. It's still a picture of a vase. Investigate. Investigate. The vase. The picture. This is very, very special. Very special. He did it himself. I mean, can I? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Well, you know. That may or may not come back into play later in the game. I don't know if you're taking notes. I'm not. You're my notes. Oh, shit. I'm gonna investigate this sofa. <laughs> it's an inflatable party cushion. <laughs> it's the latest in robot sofas. Chaos system technology. Chaos, no, that does not sound safe. It's the future, man, the question. Chaos tech. Too bad there are snatchers lurking. You could be a snatcher. What if I investigate the chief? I ain't no snatcher. It sounds like something a snatcher would say. I'm gonna need mm -hmm. to look at your gums first. All right, set up a year ago by the police. Yep. Yep, August of this year. Yep. Poster's really pretty tech. <laughs> it's my design, by the way. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, Mika's on your side. Like, yo, this poster's bullshit. All right. Purpose of the Junker Force is to eliminate Bioroid Snatchers. One. Two, a Junker, even in the course of carrying out one, must not harm innocent civilians. Okay. All right. That makes it tricky. Three, a subject may not be physically investigated or restrained unless irrefutable evidence exists that indicates the subject is indeed a Snatcher. And Directive Four is classified. Oh. Uh, a Junker <laughs> is required to assist and support civilian bounty hunters. Okay, we get a blaster. Boots and a motorcycle. A turbo cycle. Sorry, turbo cycle. Those are the five rules. Big difference. How many other, how many other movies involving cyborgs can we work into this thing? Yeah. Figure out who the snatchers are and eliminate them. 
Okay. Mm. Kill robots. A lot of investigative techniques taught in the military. But, but, but secret robots. Covert. There are not many of them. Harry's the engineer. Two runners. Gibson. And, and you. Mm -hmm. We do know that they kill. Oh. They're blending in. Okay. Yeah. That should be enough to make your duties as a junker quite clear. Crystal. This is your junker ID card. Wait, I see a puzzle on that thing. Identify you as a junker. <laughs> Carrying it allows you to exercise your authority. You gotta, you gotta line it up with his mustache see, though to so figure it out. Like a police officer's badge, huh? And uh, here's some money. It's not much, but you'll need it to carry out your investigation. Cash. Credit didn't cards give me any cash when I started here. In some regions of the city. You'll need or this gone. sooner or later. Sounds like it's a rough place out there. Go see Harry, the engineer. He's got your equipment ready for you. Cool. Going to give people money and say, are you a robot? Can <clears> I buy it? I'm going to show him my junker ID. Whoop. I'm going to show him the cash. <laughs> How much for the, that picture? Navigator robots. How much you want? Yeah, can I use money on painting? But I don't think I can actually do that. Kind of wish it would like change the color or gray out the ones you've already done. Mm -hmm. But it's like because you can get multiple responses. I yeah, guess they, I, they, I guess so. I mean, you gotta feel like, like Sam and Max did that. Where if it had multiple responses, it, it would, would still it wouldn't it too. wouldn't darken. Just, just gray it out once you've exhausted it. What this game ultimately kind of falls down to during these sequences is a lot of trial and error. Mm. Just like just keep hitting stuff till something happens. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, Bunch luckily it gives you a lot of you know. Shooting range. Uh, we we need to go get a gun first. Ah, we? yes. Your blaster. She'll give you one temporarily. Uh oh, okay. All the junkers. The, the runner's equipment is made here. Bit of a lush. I mean, just gotta do what you gotta do. This is an old drunk who likes Madonna an awful lot. Whatever, whatever it takes to get by. His wife was Madonna. <laughs> Show her the money. Okay. Let's go to the shooting range then. So I think this will show us the other thing you do in this game. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, drunkers come here to improve their marksmanship. Practice. Oh. Oh. Oh, really? My bad. My bad. Oh, there we go. Doesn't have the power of a blaster. Ray gun. Blaster. Obviously, I mean, every junker knows that. Oh boy. Press A to draw, press C to fire. <laughs> Shoot only snatchers. Easy shit. Only shoot terminators. Bam bam. Good. Go get him. Oh. Nope. Yes. But what if? No. Nope. Wait. Yeah. What if, what yes. If, yes. If yes. He's a snatcher under there. He could be. You never know. You we just have, have to shoot everybody to make sure. There's a due process. Mm. That's right. To check his gums. Got to remember directive number four. All the combat is played on a, on a grid like this with those flipping pictures. Nice. <laughs> it's also a match three puzzle game. Yeah, it's thrilling. Damn. You were... You were born for this. Yeah, I, I was I was born to play whack-a-mole. Cyberspace whack-a-mole. She's legal, it's cool. Alright, 18, 18. <laughs> Alright. Uh maybe the detective's room? I forget where we find him. But engineer room again, I think. Oh, oh yeah. maybe we have to go to the other areas first. And yeah, come back. yeah. Just 
Ace Runner. Jean. <laughs> oh yeah. The computer room. So yeah, you get there were a bunch of Easter eggs in this, I guess. Um I don't really remember them. I know if you put in like you know, search for Kojima, oh. you'll get a special entry. Junker Online Regional Data Access Network, Which Jordan. Of course. Yes, there is. How to use put junker card in slot. Use Jordan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do do do. First, then last, without a space. John Konami John as Konami. John Konami. <laughs> hey, I'm John Konami. Or just first name. With just a first name, I guess we could just I think it is Kojima, but give it a shot. Okay. Probably like, please enjoy my game. <laughs> yep. Well, there you go. I mean, everybody knows this stuff. Third, Third generation, generation family, man. Ojima. Hmm. I, hope, I hope you all enjoy it. Snatchers cross the sea. All right. That's dangerous. John Konami. Yeah, you can put in a bunch of names like producers and stuff. I did think it was kind of fun when you meet new characters in the game to kind of come back here and get a little bit of a backstory about them. Mm. This is like their blood type. It's very important. Of course. Oh yeah, I mean, always need every to puzzle is yep, their favorite. Just in case. All right, let's hit the road. Yeah, let's go do stuff. Let's go junk. Yeah. So gotta get your piece, right? Yeah. Yep. Free wheeling, yeah. Good, Harry's back. Great to meet you. You're a uh, Gillian Seed, right? Mm-hmm. I'm Never wasted. Somewhere before. No, I don't believe so. Really? Well, I guess I must be imagining things. Why are you drunk all the time? I know, I know. All right, allow me to introduce the Navigator, which I designed especially for you. Hey, Metal Gear, get out here. Huh? What? We're in trouble now. I'm sensing a real bait and switch coming up here. What are you talking about? We're not. Metal, introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Yeah? Please to meet okay. You. Ring sure. a bell? I yeah, sure. Mach 2. I am programmed Mach 2? Mm, Metal Gear? System. Yeah, okay. Metal Gear? That's a Metal Gear. Name. Another Metal oh, Gear. That's real. Okay, cute. fine. Uh, thank you. I think he's turning red. I took his basic design and his name from the Metal Gear Menace of the late 20th century. But uh, quite yeah. unlike that... I was going to ask. This one was yeah, designed okay, yeah. sure. Just, just, just whap us over the head with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Uh, don't panic yourself. I got it right over here. Somewhere. This is your blaster, the official weapon of a junker. It's got full user feedback circuitry. Okay. Adjusting itself to your reaction time. In other words, it's just as good as you are. What do you think? Here, see how she feels. 
Yeah. It's unbelievable. It's fucking awful trigger discipline, man. <laughs> yeah. So in the PlayStation and Saturn version, yeah. they redid that to have <laughs> really? proper. She's put together with the latest. Yeah, finger placement. Point forward. Oh. Not affected by heat one bit. And her ergonomic design optimizes both functionality and firepower. Sure. Well, what do you think, Gillian? I'll take it. I got no other choice. Are we stolen or self-destructed? Or, the, you know, conveniently located slit on their head. Yeah, huh, okay. Is it like under their hair or something? Maybe, yeah. It's like something you would just kind of notice on people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's under the skin. For okay. sure. Adorable. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, it won't let us leave, so I guess I have to do more stuff here. Keep on keeping on. Look, I didn't realize you would straight up get trapped in scenes until you figured out. Yep. Tell ID me about card. the cash. Here's my ID card. I'll hold on to it for you. A poster and a photograph? Mm. <laughs> All right. Aw. Only memory of his childhood. Hmm. Wait, does that mean that he is also... His parents, like, died or went away or something. Okay. Game cryogenically frozen. Fair enough. Some Put the gun in there. In there. ID 40 card. liter capacity. Couple 40s. Yeah. <laughs> what haven't we done? Mm. What haven't we done? I'm. You look at the wall. Did you try threatening him with that gun? I don't. Uh, Let me the fuck out of here. Have, it's <laughs> not on the list, so I can't really. <laughs> Backwards. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, see, it's not on the show, list. Do you mm -hmm. show everything you can? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Metal, Metal Gear's got a personality. Latest too. model. No weapons. They can save. You can use Metal Gear to save. This seems like this type of information it would make me need to know before it would let me move or on. Or use light. Mm hmm. The video phone? All cyberpunks have video phones yeah. nowadays. In their robots. I have a video phone call from Jean Jacques Gibson coming in. Connecting. Oh, these goddamn newfangled video phones. I'm in the abandoned factory in the M district. Request immediate backup. Gillian, that means you. Yeah, there's music now. Right means you gotta go. Yep. We must hurry. We'll use a turbo cycle to travel <clears> to the scene. Was that dude? Was that the other junker? Yeah. yeah, that's a guy that likes antiques. Yes. And the standard issue is like that's, that brown trench coat. Here's here's my turbo cycle, also known as a car. <laughs> The vehicle is also VTOL capable, so takeoffs and landings in narrow areas present no difficulty. A flying tricycle, huh? I just came in on one of these things. We have been assigned this vehicle for use in our investigations. Mm, 
Yep. Good choice. Yeah. Let's continue play. Tire. Just one of them. All right, here we go. Let's go home. Whatever, you know? Let's go take a nap first. I mean, it's been a long day. Can't go rescue a guy now when you're for the exhausted. Factory. Very intent on where he's going. Ace Junker Gibson is cornered as a suspected snatcher. Mm. It's kind of like the, uh, the overdub of like Blade Runner. Mm. Yeah, so getting a little bit. Sure. Was that? Really paid wait, off. was that the director's cut or was that the original? Not the director's cut. Was it the theatrical one? Not the, the theatrical. one that has the voiceover? Uh, I thought maybe, that, I thought yeah, the, I think like the original release is the one that has the voiceover that, that Ridley Scott hated, right? Yeah, I know he hated it. I don't know if it was the actual original one. I think it was like a limited release first, yeah. and then or, or the totally. producers were like, nobody's gonna get this shit. Mm. Mm. Let's let's record some more stuff. Are there, are there like five different cuts of that movie or something? Yeah, I couldn't even tell you like which is the best one. All right. There's so many of them. We're at the abandoned factory. Yep. Let's look at it. Yep. Okay. I it appears to be days. abandoned. Let's look at the sky. Quite it's dark. It's dark. Maybe a storm coming. What's going on? Oh, no, that's, well. Also abandoned. Yeah, let's investigate. Motion detector. The idea of calling a Metal Gear yeah. a metal yeah, is really it's just me weird. <laughs> All right, motion detector, it's nothing. Investigate the building. Mm hmm Probably abandoned. Uh, I would think. It, there we go. Oh no! What was that? That sounded bad. A male scream. Perhaps something has happened to Jean Jacques. Jean Jacques. Gillian, please use extreme caution. I read multiple moving objects within the factory. This could indicate the presence of snatchers or insectors. Insectors? What in the world's that? A spider-like robot used by snatchers as security devices. Though compact in size, they are armed with needle guns. Use extreme Fuck. caution. That would have been nice to know before I signed up as a junker. Mm -hmm. All right, let's actually just... <laughs> yes, metal. It's fine. Yes, yes. I would like to continue, yes, continue, we're playing. continue playing. Let's investigate. Blaster ready? Blaster ready. Some primo Foley work. It's got squishy. Squishy abandoned factory. It was like a marshmallow factory. <laughs> okay, here's where he placed the video phone call. Say, die punk. Oh, it's a teddy bear. What the? Little John. It's little John. What? Little John? <laughs> yes, Jean Jacques Gibson's personal navigator. Little John. <laughs> they really do. Aw. Oh, guy. Laser cannon. Not a needle gun mm. thing. Yeah. Yeah. That was a hint. Because it was a different color. I wonder, I thought, oh. Hmm. Memory chip, there we go. Well. What do you think? Can you get this memory chip out of there? Add a little yes. echo to the... Mm, yeah. Yeah. Now retrieving memory chip. Joink. Or a little challenge. Oh, that's 
Do you need some money, buddy? <laughs> I pay to fix you up or what? <laughs> Insert 99 cents to continue. No okay. reason. Okay. He's dead. Anything else to investigate here? The area. Report analysis results on little memory. <laughs> little memory. Huh. Okay. okay. All right, so we can't do that here. Mm. Keep on keeping on. Advance. Advance. Retreat. Onward. Uh-oh. Uh oh Oh no. Lulu. Probably go look at that figure. Look at body. Oh no! Oh jeez. Holy shit. Oh, oh. God. Whew. Ah. What a nasty way to go. This is another one of the like the oh. handful of screenshots I remember seeing over and over from mm -hmm. this game. That's changed a lot from like version to version. Just the, the way it's presented. Just yeah. Key in one of his pockets. Like in uh, later versions, I think like the PlayStation and stuff starts with the head and then, then like pans up to the body, oh, wow. so it's not in the same shot. And then this is what uh, Jeff was talking about, where it like fades to black and okay. white because that makes it less. Okay. What was the first one, MSX? Uh, right? No, it's actually PC-88, but okay. only like by a month or something like okay. that. Then it was MSX. Is this the original art from those versions or? So this is closest to like the PC engine. Okay. Um, they certainly use like the previous version as like a reference. They change a lot of stuff okay. from version to version. But like in some versions, like his body is completely turned around yeah. as well. It's weird. Yeah, some of the command stuff, like, there's no take. Like, right. I had to look at that yeah. key to pick it up, whereas, like, I could investigate that key over and over again. It's, it seems like the interface will use a little to be desired. Yeah. 88. 88. And in this version, like, 94 or whatever. Right, but, yeah. but it's yeah. Yeah, virtually identical to the I guess. previous. Okay. That's well, fair. I mean, I guess, like, PC adventure games were still using text parsers at that time. Yeah. Okay, so we've... Got his key. He loves antiques. Maybe that'll come into play later. Certainly. Maybe the key will open something later. I don't know. That desk we maybe found back at Ed. Probably not. I don't, I know, don't man. know. What are video games? From the 70s. I don't know. <laughs> right. True. Should probably okay. call this in. Let's move on. Wait. Say heck. I, I, I need a I need a pay raise. Yeah. I am currently the only junker. <laughs> really strengthens your negotiating position. Oh, oh no, no, no frequency. Snow Presence nine. of Snow Nine. Snow nine. Bioengineered form of pollen. Of course. Snow Nine. Mm -hmm. Yep. Dead end. Well, I'm sure when we retreat, there won't be. It'll just be the same as when we left that area, right? Exactly, yeah. Just retrace your steps. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Still dead. Crying. Crying electric tears. Mm -hmm. Let's stop there. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. We will continue. We'll maybe we'll get out of the building and we can make a phone call. Yeah. That's what I think. Hot pipe. Yeow. Well, now you tell us. It 
ceiling looks quite wall. weak. All right, let's uh, just uh, exit the area. Oh, he must. Okay, he will not let us leave. Okay, so there's something we have not mm, done here. Damn it! Okay, let's. Uh, yep, this is when it's like, oh boy. Yeah. All right, we looked at the. It's also partially why I have not, like, as much as I love this game and loved my experience with it. Initially, subsequent playthroughs is a little tedious. Yeah, I can see that. Well, do you find yourself just remembering everything? I like a lot of that stuff is gone from my memory, like exactly what like to do. Which but, command to put in? But like, yeah, I, I remember that. what Junker stands for, kind of. How could you forget? Yeah. Hang on. Japanese underground neurokinetic stream? It ex Terminate. Neurokinetic. Yeah, I got that one. Yeah. Ex Which is hyphenated, but yes. NK. Uh, yeah. ex Eliminate. What? I think it. Uh, elimination? Elimination Ranger? Ranger? Yeah. I want to look up what the Japanese one <coughs> Jeff, you have to get out of this building. There has to be a way to walk through that door. All right. Oh wait, that's the wrong door. Yeah. I... So this is about as far as I played. Uh, I, I got a little bit past this, and I can't remember what... Oh, oh he's got oh, something in his right hand. There we go. <laughs> Still have to find the right command to actually see what's in his hand, though. We will look at corpse. Okay. No. Wait, hang on. What we'll just... investigate again. There investigate, it is. Okay. right hand. It's hair! Oh no! Skin tissue under his nails. Is it snatcher hair? Oh yeah. Investigate skin sample from the skin job. Analysis complete. Results on the display. One, enzyme antibody analysis indicates subject is blood type O, Rh factor negative. Two, chromosomal analysis of cells in the sample mm -hmm. reveal 46XX. Subject is female. Three, cell component distribution indicates presence of artificial protein compounds. Four, number of melanocytes in sample indicates that subject is Caucasian. The results of the analysis strongly figures. suggest that the tissue sample mm, of skin cells was scraped from the subject during a struggle with John. Shit! What? The skin cells almost oh, certainly came from a female European blood type O negative snatcher. Oh, not O negative. Wait. Type O neg. The should probably. Did your robot say that it's definitely from a snatcher? Dies are root. Yeah. How can how can you tell? Or is that what we're finding out here? Results on the display. One. Chromosomal analysis of cells from the papilla and root reveal 46 XY. Subject is male. Two. Hair color brown. Hair structure reading of 65 indicates European subject wavy hair. Three. Attachment of root structure and thickness of the base of the strand suggest hair was pulled out of follicle. Four, enzyme antibody analysis indicates subject is blood type A, Rh factor negative. Five, cell component distribution indicates presence of artificial protein compounds. The results of the analysis strongly suggest that the strand of hair was pulled from the scalp of Jean's attacker during their struggle. Thank you. The strand Metal. of hair almost certainly came from a male European blood type A negative snatcher. Mm. Okay. Yeah, of course, the probable male that, that snatcher. snatcher. Had, that snatcher had backup from another snatcher. Snatch up. No. That okay. No. So that's probably that. Hmm. I yeah, thought the snatchers think... were supposed to be like indistinguishable from humans. How could you just tell? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I thought that was the whole idea. He dropped his blaster. He dropped his blaster. Take it. <clears throat> Still, Still warm. <laughs> And it's bent. Like all cartoony and shit? Oh god. That's silly. Alright. Uh, so the Japanese uh, definition of junker. Yes. Judgment, uninfected, naked, kind, and execute ranger. <laughs> okay. Uh. Naked, kind, and execute ranger.
You're cool, Japan. You're pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, it's sure. totally cool. Metal. It's totally cool. It's all good. We know what we're getting into. Yes, I want to continue play. Got junk in to do. All right, well, I guess we can leave now. Okay. What? Oh. Oh. Are you serious? Wait, was that you exiting move? That was me exiting the, trying to exit the building. Oh no, we're never getting out. Well, what, what do you hit? Oh yeah, okay. We're never getting out. Maybe he's got something else? He's got the memory. Um, I feel like retreat out the front door? No, because it's be yeah. it here it only just becomes advanced and exit. Right. Uh, I don't have any sounds. Fuck, what else do you need? I feel like this is where the next big thing happens, <clears throat> but uh, it yeah. must not happen until you try to leave and can leave, so, all right. You are correct, yes. We should just need to, okay, look blaster. That's, look blaster? No. Investigate blaster? It won't let me, it doesn't seem like it'll let me pick it up, but. And this is just gonna be. Same, same stuff you already saw. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Did we look at that before? I forget. Yeah. Ground. Is there evidence of a struggle? There we go. Investigate ground. Oh. Okay, here we go. Ah. Search the house. house. <laughs> I. Couldn't really possibly imagine what that incredibly cryptic. Mean. All right, we took that into our possession. Okay. Okay. Maybe now Let's you can just take off. GTFO. Yeah. Let's let's try and let's try and go. Back in this. Look at Little John, investigate Little John, memory chip, use Metal Gear to report analysis results on Little Memory. We did that. Uh, look at body, investigate Gibson's corp twice, then right hand. We got the, to get the hair and skin sample, we got that. Um, organic compounds, I think we got that. Investigate Gibson clothing. That's, That's how we got the scrap got, of paper. Yeah, we got the note that way. Okay. Investigate. Investigate the key in the scrap paper to get them as evidence. And then investigate hair and skin sample. Get that. Yeah, pretty sure we did all that. All right. Running off and wait. <laughs> Something's supposed to happen after you do that. There we go. and a degree to which the food's been digested, we may be able to figure out where Jean's been. 7-Eleven, hot dogs. Now making incision in Jean's stomach to analyze organic compounds. Gross, first. metal. That's all right, well, really necessary. Metal Gears are truly terrorists. Analysis complete. Results on the display. 
Results of the analysis indicate the organic compounds are primarily composed proteins that have been exposed to digestive acids for approximately three hours. It's the shit in the stomach, I know. The protein suggests the meat is that of a buffalo. Buffalo meat? Yes, buffalo meat. The results indicate that Jean ate buffalo meat somewhere about three hours before he was killed. Well, they don't have buffalo jerky at 7 Eleven, mm, so it's probably, probably not. Else. Well, this is. Oh, Neo Kobe. There we go. Whoa. Neo Kobe, yeah. Whoa, that's a joker. Snatchers? Unable to confirm. I suggest we investigate. Yes. You should Head investigate. In the direction of the murderous robots. All right, let's move. I think. Hmm. <clears throat> GTFO. <gasps> it's all that Snow Nine. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, you listen. Picking up a distant sound. Sound like that of a timer. That's probably bad. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. I was going investi to investigate the body to see if maybe the timer was ticking down inside of him and we could disarm a bomb or something, but I forget. Ojima would never do something like that. That's a good point. What? Uh, Drew? From the direction of Little John. Oh shit. What is that? Whoa! A time bomb. <laughs> time bomb. Evacuate yeah. immediately. There is little time. There's there is a ah. time bomb, but Fine Metal Gear. You should save it on site and it's a different slot. Okay. No way. When our choice is committed. I was thinking about speedrunning this game. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Investigate Time Bomb. All right, Metal Gear can't uh, do anything to it. Let's get the fuck out of here. This would be a weird one, right? Because there must be a, like a, there must be a <laughs> there, maximum there's one efficient, critical path, yeah. efficient way to get through this, right? I, so I then it's just, how fast can I'm you? being jokey. I don't know, man. Jokey. Dude, I wouldn't put anything. <gasps> Action. I wouldn't put anything Action. past the speedrunning community at yeah, this point. Yeah, true. Ah! Oh, shit. Uh-oh. That one was a civilian bug, not a snatcher bug. Dude, what the hell? This is a little bit more grueling than the uh, practice range. Don't fuck it up, Jeff. But these, the, the what are they called? Insectors? Yeah. Gobots. Yeah, okay. Insecticons. Maybe all came, somebody came by yesterday saying that Gobots were better than Transformers. Uh, no, they, was, they were trying uh, to say that Gobots came first. I don't know. Was it in Alaska? Or was it was somebody. Yeah, I didn't know who it was, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to say his name because you know people would. No, I don't think they were passing any up. value judgment there. I think oh, they were really? just asking which one was older. Oh. Which one came first? I had headphones half on. No, no, no. And no, then I asked him, "I'm like, what? Do you think GoBots are better?" Anyway. And he's like, "Yeah." No, they were just asking which came first. Okay. Transformers or GoBots? Die, punk! Ugh! They hit me five times. You were doing just fine. It's now injecting Junker's blood. That doesn't sound healthy, but... No, it's fine. It's fluid supplement and painkillers and some nanomachines. Healing agents. Youch! Yeah. Like last time I tried... Well, so Ooh. when it's coming at you a lot faster, at some point, the getting the D-pad to perhaps hit these diagonals. I think you were doing just fine. I think you're supposed to get hit there. All right. Well, we still need to get out of here. Getting out of here. Sorry, I go with you. What? What's wrong with you? Hurry it up. Very little legs. Out of here can't run, remember? What on earth are you blabbering about? Let's go. It's going to blow. Please save yourself. All right. I'm paralyzed with fear. I forgot there was a bomb. Oh, I can't believe this stupid robot. Come on. Yeah. Okay. 
pacing in this game. And then credits, right here, title card. It's like you have been urgently trying to get away from this Jeez. time bomb, but I totally forgot there was a time bomb. That's because you left the volume turned up. Damn snatchers. There is no need for concern. Mm -hmm. I have okay. all the information about the mm -hmm. evidence and the area in my memory. We should return to Junker headquarters. They got you. They got you. All right. We all those to logos. Junker headquarters. Ooh, that was some first day. Now entering the building. We've entered the lobby. Oh. Gillian, I heard about Jean. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. Allow me to console you. Quite satisfactorily. Yes. There it is. That's right. It's not your fault, Gillian. Don't worry about it. By the way, the chief is waiting for you. Got a new painting. This is the chief's office. Jean. Well, see, that was a pretty rough first assignment to draw. Pretty you made rough. A great effort, though. I've studied the data transmitted back by Metal Gear, so I know all about what happened out there. Don't tell him. It's too bad about Gibson. He was a great junker. Great junker. Seed, I need you to take over for him. You're the only one I've got left who can battle this snatcher menace. I'm gonna need more credit. Look at my party chair. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking inflatable robo chair. Uses chaos tech. <laughs> All right. Let's Just look at that picture. Oh, see, now we have Metal Gear with us. Ah, yes. An expert analysis of this guy's Experts. crappy paintings. Some fucking answers. That's what I expect yeah. to find. Exposition. Okay, so what do we have right now? So we've got analysis, we've got, we've got the, the notes. skin, we've got the hair, we've got the note, we've got, we've got the key. 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 Uh, There's something else. Maybe not. So we're, okay, yeah. One male and one female snatcher were involved in killing him. I frequently just like put on the soundtrack and just mm. listen to it. Is this the soundtrack? I mean, is yeah. this your preferred version? Yeah, I guess so. Um, Were the, I mean, is this like the one? Is this the preferred version for kind of people's nostalgia? I mean, for, like, for I would me, that, I think, yeah. Uh, I, I think you'll that, find a lot of people bitching that there's like censorship mm. and stuff like that. I was thinking more just like in terms of the quality of the graphics and stuff. I would think that the PlayStation Saturn versions were better. So well, those they, weren't translated? Uh, they never came out here? Yeah. Okay. yeah, they weren't translated. And two, like they did some like pseudo CG, well, actual CG stuff. Ah. Um, which I'm guessing so maybe like, hasn't like the aged super well. Yeah, the intro is like uh, CG, right? Oh, wow. And then some of like stills like this, they, I don't know, they updated the illustrations. Mm. A key. To make it look a little more like 80s anime, huh. I guess. Uh, and less <laughs> sprite. Okay, I see what you're saying. Like, oh, if, if I recall, he had a key on him, didn't he? Maybe we can use key. Pills. Pills. I knew it. A discs. But yeah, there's fan translations of the original games, but I mean, really, this is this is the American this, version. This encapsulates the Snatcher experience. I think so. Acid inhibitors, membrane protecting agents, H2 blockers. This is medication for an ulcer. Jeez, it looks like Jean's stomach was really in terrible shape. Then what was he doing eating buffalo? That seems a little unusual. It's good. Perhaps there was some reason that he gamey. had to eat buffalo. Yeah, a little bit. Just five inches, huh? I don't have anything to read it with, but whatever.
Okay. Uh, I'm gonna peek ahead. Yep. So that's probably yep. it here. Uh, oh wait, locker. There's a coat. Okay, let's investigate coat. Chess piece. Is that one a rook? Uh, it's a queen. Oh, is it? I yeah, that's a queen. Really don't know my chess pieces apparently. I know checkers pieces mm. really well. Yeah. Not a lot to keep up with or remember there. Huh? Super easy. Yeah. See, that time he keep picked it, it up as part of investigate instead of, instead of look. Like the consistency about like just collecting yeah. items yeah, it's, is it's, mm -hmm. uh, a little, a little rough. All right, uh, well, we go to the engineering room, see if we can talk to... Yes, close the drawer. Better, shut, better the shut that locker. Maybe that dude's got a five inch lock. Yeah! <laughs> All right. All right! That's where the party's at. Well, so our new junker has returned. <laughs> I register high alcohol levels. Harry is intoxicated. Thank you, Metal. Really, Expert analysis. You know, I really thought you were better than that. <laughs> Harry! What Fuck kind off, of man. backup was that supposed to be? If you were a better junker than that, Jean... Jean wouldn't have had to die out there. Harry, that statement is incorrect. Don't worry about it, Metal. Harry's right. Jean... Harry's drunk. <laughs> Sorry, it's... it's not your fault. <laughs> Metal, would it's you the, give Harry the, the memory chip you pulled up. out of Little John? Of course. Harry, this is Little John's memory chip. <laughs> He's just out. I think you can do some looking here. And investigating the bottle. Synthahol. Can't get drunk on Synthahol. Everybody knows that. Napoleon. <laughs> that is weird. Numbers on the label. Or take a screenshot. No. Three, nine, That's five, not six, four, four. Computer room. I can help if you want. I've got. Yeah, sure. Just you know, we're, we're gonna play a little, another fifteen minutes or so here. So why don't we make a little progress? Let's uh, let, let's head out front and we'll talk to Mika. Okay. Maybe she wants to go get some food. Maybe, Maybe. she does. Nano machines. She seems fine now. Do something. Do you want to do something? Ask about the Buffalo restaurant. Mm. The time is done. It has come to do something. <laughs> no. No, that's not right. Yeah, yeah, she probably will. <laughs> She's already leaning in that direction. Um, wasn't it weird that he was drinking brandy? Mm. Was that whiskey? Was it? I don't I know. This, this fact seems to point that to yeah. that direction. Yeah. Uh, Wait, are you saying he's not really him? I'm not saying that. Uh, I'm saying you should ask about Napoleon times two. <laughs> I can't. 
That's, That's yep. true. Where did it say Napoleon? On the the bottle? Mm, or yeah. if we have to go back there and investigate did, did and you, look and I, ask the bottle about it. We, we got the number off of it. That's why I was going to go to the computer room and type in Napoleon and see what came up. Um, they're supposed to ask me about the Buffalo restaurant and then ask her about Napoleon times two. Mm. But you can um, use Metal Gear. He has a way of, you can put numbers into him. Okay. If if I were to do that, I would put in three nine five six four four. Mm -hmm. Wolf guy. Nope. Uh, who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm an acquaintance of Gibson. I need some information. <laughs> you an investigator too, huh? Can't trust him. All right, let's have the password. The password? Hmm. His name is Napoleon. Ah, uh, there we go. The 100 day. Please put your using the cursor. Uh. Oh, so is Harry drinking? Um, Jean's brandy, I'll bet. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Was it brandy? 100 day yes. brandy? Yeah. Sure. Mm. We have to mark, son. Oh. Oh, jeez. Super Ask metal number. Ask metal number. <laughs> six, six, six. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just over here calling people. Ha. Huh. Science cop. Ever since he was part of the science police. <laughs> gunning down flat earthers wherever they may be. <laughs> All right, well, I, I did that. Uh, let's, uh, sup. And I guess we're hmm. looking up the person. In the future, they just go yeah. straight across. It's it's more efficient. E. Right? Is it? Yep. Sure. Yeah. Spelling that correctly? No. What? Damn it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to be the 100 Day War, isn't it? Mm. Or what's the famous line? Revolution. Rain. Okay. Uh. Uh, Brad, do you know where Napoleon kept his armies? Behind the cannons? In his sleeves. What? What? His, his arms. Okay. In his sleeves. I see. Okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I'm Good. working on my dad jokes. I see. Okay. <sighs> I'm off to a good start. Yeah, that's, that's pretty <laughs> solid top shelf material. My son's very familiar with Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Everyone is. Got to get him started oh, early. <laughs> I like that you can ask him for the number, but you still have to, man. Type it in. What was it? Three, three nine five six four four. Yeah. Pretty wild. 
Just interface stuff. Yeah. Yeah, super Ooh, archaic. Yeah, some of that stuff's a little rough. Mm -hmm. Damn right. R, R, I, wait, I before E except after C. Make, make it rain. And rain. It doesn't follow the rules. Mm. So. If it is my last name, it's an EI. Mm. Mm. Alton Plaza in the EXG district. Let's see the city. Don't call. I want my house to look like that. Just buttons, yeah, levers, just glowing everywhere. stuff. Sure. Y yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think. Yeah, I think yeah. so. My wife th thinks so. Sure. I'm gonna enter my turbo cycle. Really? He'll be fine. Oh yeah, we should uh, call her. I have a number written down at home. Is Gillian kind of kind of a sleaze, or is it just me? It's a ladies' man, uh, Brad. Of course. Yeah, like it's kind of ambiguous. This whole like separated from wife amnesia have, thing, kind of. They have an open, you know, amnesia relationship. Mm, yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, you know, it's Don't like a, who am I to judge? What, they're, what if, they're up to. If you can't remember it, it didn't happen. It was, yeah. All right, well, let's, yeah, I think let's go back to the apartment and call the wife. Well, and then, okay, I was gonna say, okay. and then we'll call it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're to... right. Maybe we don't want to get too deep in. I was gonna yeah. say, maybe go search Gibson's place, you know, search the house. Yep, we've got leads for sure. Oh, I want a turbo cycle. That this is where place. you live. I'm gonna have a place to live too. God damn, wow. It's a good gig. Hmm. Okay. Well, you've succeeded, sir. <laughs> oops, oops, oops. I actually didn't want to. Uh, mm. Don't call. We gotta find it. How were the flow times in this originally? Was it? All right. Yeah, on, I don't on hardware it seems to it, remember. Was it a chore it to move issue, around in or I mean it really for a widower? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't recall it standing out. Mm. Bear in mind, like I didn't have any options, so maybe I just accepted it. The Olympics. Mm -hmm. Rather Spartan. Three nine three four four four. All right. just getting to sleep hang up <laughs> really yeah no but sh show her your ID card look I'm growing up getting my life together I've changed 
They pay me money. I got this little robot. Yeah. I heard of this really great buffalo place. <laughs> Gonna meet Mika there. How is your Good condition? <laughs> Sketty. Oh, that's that's endearing. Job. Are you still working at Kobe Pharmaceuticals? <laughs> <laughs> nope. So, so you don't remember anything from before? Okay. Cool. Great. Okay. Right. Yeah. Cool. Right. <laughs> I like that. Snatch your part of your personality. What kind of dreams have you had lately? Ah. <laughs> Look at what I have. Check out this evidence. <laughs> Look, it's a chess piece. I thought instead of disc, it said something else for a second. What do you think about this key, huh? It's key. It's pretty cool, huh? It goes to a desk. <laughs> I was in there earlier, so I found the disc. Anyway, what are you doing? Hanging out in bed, huh? That's cool. Maybe we should go out sometime. Well, this is going to happen right now if I do this, isn't it? I think you should find out. <laughs> so this is a good way to end this. Let's go to the zoo. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the night. Go to the arcade. With her. Yeah, let's do that. Hoverland. A lot bigger than Mind Wave. Smattered with Hoverland. Take care, bye. All right, All right fuck you bye -bye. Then. Got shot down. Immediately get off the phone. <laughs> That's how you do it. Okay, well, I gotta go. I have to go punch a wall for a while. <laughs> so there's special numbers that you can put in, too. Do you want to take a look at one? Sure. Maybe? I, I have to go even swear sure. myself in a mirror. Yeah, give me, for, give me a number here. I'm, just, I'm looking real quick. Sorry about that. I wasn't prepared. I'm gonna check out the other fact real quick, and if it's not there, then we're just we're gonna move. Put on. in the frequency for Metal Gear Solid. One eight one. Was oh, it one oh two eight? Oh, oh, no, no. Mr. Viff. Mr. Viff says no. Not in service at this time. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, I'm scrolling to the bottom real quick. All right, Mr. Viff. <clears throat> Shoutouts. <clears throat> nope, I don't have any numbers. No, okay, all right. Well, Never we mind. got to see Mr. Viff. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, let's save it. One. One. Sure, yeah. Finish. I hope we can continue this investigation soon. Yeah. Maybe we'll play a little more Snatcher. Yeah, I'd be sometime. down for that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad to have seen this. I'm glad to know more about it. But man, it's, it's kind of slow. It's very slow. Yeah. Right? It's, uh, it, it's tough to do like in a group environment like yeah. this. Like you really just gotta... Especially like no subtitles and stuff like that. Like we probably need yeah. to mm -hmm. wear headphones or something. Just make sure that we can hear and, all the... That and just losing track of which menu options you've explored. Yep, and yeah. even just like watching a Let's Play, uh, yeah, it really doesn't do it justice either. I yeah. think you have to really yeah. gotta get into it. 
Mm. So cool. You play it yourself. But, yeah. All right. It's hard to find copies out there. Expensive. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I lost my kind copies. Of a small, small print run here. Yeah. Like there was, there was a flood in my basement. Oof. Mm. Oh, geez. Yeah. Like early two thousands. I lost a lot of stuff. I still have my Saturn copy. Great. Mm. Yeah. That yeah. does me a lot of yeah. fucking. Yeah. Yeah. CD got destroyed. Uh, yeah. Really? CD, yeah. CDs can't handle being submerged. There was like three feet of water really? down there. Oh, yeah. Wow. A lot of that shit just got fucking just washed away saved, scratched up all sorts yeah you know, okay yeah sure i did save uh rise of the dragon though which is a game very similar uh to this oh right um, yeah wait a minute but it is like a point click adventure is that a dynamics game that sounds right like that sierra yeah. studio yeah. holy shit i want to yeah. see that that was I, another i could bring that in and my cdx snatcher rise of the dragon like all these games are games that i ogled in video games and computer entertainment back in the 90s when yeah. i had mm -hmm. no way to play any of them and i was just like man those games look way cooler than the games i'm playing yeah it's the power of the compact disc yeah rise of the dragons yeah like it's a darker uh, like approach to this whole this, this right. cyberpunk it's, it's another and detective stuff. kind of thing right yeah yeah totally but more Chinatown click adventure kind of, yeah. um lots yeah. of drugs and man. stuff okay yeah. Drugs and stuff. Drugs and stuff. Well, that's going to do it for us here. Uh, <laughs> thanks, you guys, for snatching with me. Yes. Yeah. Anytime. Happy to, happy Cyberpunk. Snatch anytime. Yeah. Uh, we'll uh, see you guys next time. Everybody have a great day or night. Where are you? I don't know. <laughs> Wherever you may be. In Neo Kobe City. It's always nighttime there. <laughs> Take care. Order the buffalo. Keep snatching. <laughs>